grind, yeah, I do this all the time Yo, wake up in the morning, go get a state of mind I done feel so many times, but I gotta keep trying I ain't giving up, nigga, put it all on the line, yo all right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Today is June 28th. Uh, back at it again. Um, just to give you a quick update. So my last video I posted on Monday. Uh, this video right here, uh, I told you my earnings was 218. Uh, my wife reminded me that she did my dealer's route that day. It was Monday, so uh, that's an extra fifty dollars. So my earnings was actually 268 for that day. Just want to update y'all on that. Um, so yesterday, uh, I did not post any videos. I actually was not planning on working. Uh, man, that sun is bright. Hold on. Uh, I was not planning on working, and uh, I, did, I wanted to get my uh, my van washed. So I went to uh, Blue Beacon Truck Wash in the morning, and uh, on my way over there, of course, got an order with dispatch. So uh, picked that order up. And that one paid 78 well it was a uh, 70 something like 72 dollars but i ended up having to wait uh for the load so i got an extra like six bucks so it was about 78 dollars and then uh i man testimony bro testimony so i met a driver out here um for when i pulled up to it was pbg when i pulled up I said, that's my van right there. I'm looking at it like, man, that's my twin. So, um, long story short, uh, Santiago, AKA Santi, shout out to you, man. Um, he he uh, moved from Laredo to San Antonio and he's got a CDL. He already got his own business. Um, he said I inspired him to, to, to get into this business. Um, so obviously, you know, he did his own research he knows the market. He, he getting on the apps. Uh, he was, I think he got a dispatch order like me. Uh, he bought a 2020 Ford Transit 250 from CarMax. I don't know how he found that because I went to CarMax. They ain't had no cargo vans that I like. So he got a nice one, man. It looked brand new. So um, shout out to him, man. He, uh, <laughs> I was looking at the back. It looked identical to mine. And he said he, he got the same uh, dolly, everything. Uh, but the, um, I noticed he used a curtain in the back. He kind of looked like he got that OTR look. Because, uh, you know, I got the net, the little truck net. So I like that, man. He put a, a shower rod with a curtain behind his seat. Um, but, yeah, man, I just, that was a testimony, man. Like, that's crazy, like, how he uh, he was inspired to look into this. He did his own research, and it, it works for him, you know. He out here doing it. That dude is a hustler, man. Big-time hustler. Uh, he hustles on the side too, like me. You know, he'll he'll do food orders at night, all that stuff. So, shout out to you, man. Uh, I'm gonna stay in touch with him. Hopefully, we can uh, get I can give y'all some updates on on his journey. But um, so that was cool. That was yesterday, and then um, I just did that one. Actually, no, I had a go share and a freight order uh, from Lowe's. But um, dang, these people about to crash. Oh man. Uh, I did a, uh, I had a freight and a go share order uh, from Lowe's. Both of them got canceled. So the freight one was canceled because somebody had already picked it up. And then the go share, I canceled it because the wait was like 30 minutes. And I'm like, nah, I ain't about to wait no 30 minutes. So anyways, um, so yeah, no, didn't really work yesterday. I did make, uh, they, they did pay me cancellation fee. Um, for, so I made about a hundred bucks. A little over 100 bucks yesterday so um today i'm headed to lowe's with go share it's about uh 8 15 right now and i have a 10 30 pickup with delivered a catering order and uh, it's a high paying one so i don't want to miss out so i'm, I'm probably only, only going to have time to do this job this morning and um i think i'm picking up a deep freezer yeah deep freezer Man, pulling up to Lowe's now. Uh, I forgot to tell y'all. So <laughs> I went to Blue Beacon to get my truck washed, but I actually didn't get it washed. Uh, the wait time was like two hours. So uh, the one I went to is 24 hours a day. So um, you just got to go when it's not crowded. Uh, there was a bunch of uh, 18 wheelers over there. Um, so uh, also, I just want to let y'all know, man, uh, I'm probably not going to be posting as much. Uh, I try to do it every day um, and 
it's starting to affect the family life a little bit. So, um, you know, when I when I when I finish my day, I get home, I'll eat, and then uh, I immediately go to my office and start editing my videos and getting it ready to put out that same day. And that could take anywhere from two to four hours, depending on how long the video is. So, uh, just so y'all know, man, uh, it's gonna be about three or four a week, something like that. But the wife. She was giving me that look, man. She ain't gonna, she's very supportive, but you know, uh, I don't wanna be in my office and then coming out at seven, eight o'clock at night. So, hope y'all understand that. All right, y'all. So, this is what I rolled out from Lowe's. Um, it is not heavy. It's, uh, probably about it feel like about maybe 75 pounds maybe close to 100 pounds but definitely something i could load myself i'm actually show you show you me load it so pretty easy all right so not that heavy bro just not heavy at all all right, man, so I just ran a uh, bungee cord around it. Uh, like I said, it's not that heavy. I actually have this same deep freezer. It's, <clears throat> it's a freezer, and I, I think I have about the same size. Mine might be a little bit bigger than this one, but um, I'm in great timing. It's only 850, and the drop-off is not far at all, so um, perfect timing. But I definitely won't have time to do another order after this. All right, man, so it's uh, only an eight-minute drive. I just got good news after good news, man. So, um, I got an email from a company that I'm trying to get on with and they said I'm approved. So I'm adding another app. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Y'all probably heard of this one before anyways, but, um, I don't want to say what it is until I try it. I'm going to try it first and then I'm going to tell you what it is. So, um, but I'm a little excited. I can't get too excited because I still got another app that I've been waiting almost two months for. So I'm excited about the app because, you know, it's everything sounds good on paper, but I haven't done it yet. So, uh, but just to let y'all know, I'm just, I'm adding another app. I just got approved. I uh, applied for it uh, about two days ago. So, uh, and then also I wanted to update y'all on, uh, so on this video again, I had, um, told y'all that I did a promo with Upside. Uh, that's where I get my gas. I get cash back every time I get gas. So they had a promo where you go to two two different restaurants and spend at least $10. And then you do that, your next fill up, you get an extra 50 cents per gallon. So I did that promo and I have filled up and I just wanted, it takes about two to three days for it to register. So when I have filled up, I went to a gas station, it was paying 13 cents per gallon plus the extra 50 cents. So it was 63 cents per gallon. This was my return right here. That's some huge cash back, man. So if you're sleeping on upside, get on it. Use my promo code. If you use my promo code, you get, um, I think, an extra 15 cents per gallon, your first fill up. And then you sign people up. Sign as many people up as you can because you're going to get one cent per gallon every time they fill up so it's a nice little extra income you create for yourself and your family and friends neighbors all that so anyway let me go drop this off all right man i just got turned around i i did not know that i'm going to a military base so i think i'm going to fort sam houston uh military base uh because i was like i saw my my dad was taking me in the gate and uh i'm like wait a minute i ain't ready for this so I already know through experience that uh, they have a, a certain gate that commercial and deliveries go through. So um, uh, it's right off the uh, I-35 freeway. So I'm about to head over there. But man, I'm just getting good news after good news. So my jump logistics dispatcher, um, he's like, man, I got a bunch of Tiff Treats deliveries, like crazy amount. Like you about to make some dough. And I'm like, hey man, I'm in my cargo van today. So I had him call the wife. So it starts at uh, around like four o'clock today. And uh, she's gonna be, I guess there's a huge order. I don't know if it's a huge order or a bunch of orders. So my wife's gonna do that. 
And uh, I'll let y'all know how much she make, but uh, that's easy money right there, just dropping off some cookies. So uh, just good news after good news. Keep it coming. All right, man, this is what I'm looking for. This uh, little tent right here. I got to go through that tent. So I don't know how long it's going to take. Hopefully it's quick. A lot of times, yeah, see all these trucks. All the trucks got to come through here. And uh, sometimes it takes a long time. I've been at this gate for, when I work with Sleep Number, I've been here for almost an hour and a half one time. So, But it's not too many trucks. A lot of times the trucks will be all the way, way back, you know, by the freeway. So it looks like it's going to move pretty fast. Uh, it's usually early in the morning. That's when it's a lot of trucks. So it's only uh, 9 o'clock right now, so we good. All right, man, let me get through here. All right, made it through. Uh, it only took about about 10 minutes, so not too bad. So um, still in good time. It's 9.21. I'm going to drop this off and start slow rolling to my catering order. Um, somebody got lucky. Somebody got a 70-something dollar, dollar order. I want to say it was a PPG order. I wasn't able to take it because I um, it interfered with my catering time, but... Yeah, man, I missed those orders. That's usually, you know, the pay was like $60, $70, $80, even $90, those paint orders. Now they be putting them out like $30, $40. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. But multi-gig app, that's the way to handle that. So this one, uh, I think this one's paying $50 something dollars with GoShare. So I only drove eight miles. All right, man, the customer is uh, having me go behind her house and uh, she's got to open the garage. We're going to just put it in the garage, so. It's going to be a house, not barracks or nothing like that. All right, man, done with that order. Um, that was go share. So I'm, I'm uh, slow rolling to my uh, delivered catering order. I'm about 24, 25 minutes away. Um, so I'll be about 15 minutes early. So I'm gonna probably stop at the gas station, get something to drink, use the restroom, and then uh, be ready to pick that up. So after that, I'll be free. I, I can't really accept anything right now. So I'll be free uh, after this delivery. Hopefully I can get at least one one or two more orders. All right, man, made it on time. Uh, pickup is at BJ's. Been here a couple times. And I think I'm delivering to the same place. Uh, the place I'm delivering, I wanna say they order like, probably like two or three times a week. So. Is that a Bud Light? That is a Bud Light truck. Probably they still deliver. Alright, man. Hopefully this order's ready. Last time I came here, man, I, I was like 20 minutes late because of them. They uh the order was not ready. It came out like 20 minutes after the time I was supposed to get it, so let me go get on them. A few moments later. All right, man, I finally got everything. This took a ridiculous amount of time. So it took them about 30 minutes to get me this. So I was here for 15 minutes plus an extra 30 minutes. So 45 minutes late. So I already talked to Delivered. They're going to pay me extra. And I told the customer I'm running late. They cool with it. So on my way now. Second time they did this to me. All right. So other than the horrible wait time at pickup, uh, this is only a four mile route four miles and uh, I think I delivered here before so after I dropped this off so that that new app that I just signed up for um, they had me put my bank account information in so everything's good to go I could go uh, my backgrounds done so they said that I can go online anytime now so I'm gonna after this order I'm gonna turn that app on and see if I get something and uh, then I'll share what it is, but y'all probably have heard of it before, but um, 
I just learned about it recently uh, through another driver out here. So, anyways, let me go uh, drop this off. All right, this is my uh, my stop. Uh, yeah, I've definitely been here before. So this uh, this place, they actually have a uh, a cart, so I could use their cart and uh, roll everything in. And I'm just gonna drop it off right at the front desk. So uh, this is real easy. All right, man, so I'm not gonna record inside because I'm literally going through that door and the office is right there. So I'm just gonna uh, get this delivered and head, head on out. All right, man, I'm all done with that order. Um, so it took way longer than it should have. If the pickup was ready, it would have took me about Probably about 20 minutes because the drive was only uh, four miles so uh, I'm about to turn my new app on um, my my man uh, Santi that uh, has my same van I told him to get him some plywood because I was watching him load his van at PPG and he was taking one can at a time and you know we got these rubber floors so you can't slide it. and he was walking all the way in putting it down coming back picking up one can Santi Get two of them cans, put them right here on the edge and push that thing down there. I usually push about 12 of them. Once I get them slided, then I then I line them up and then come back and the rest just gonna slide right in. So this definitely come in handy when loading them paint. But uh, it's all good. He'll learn through experience. So let me, uh, let me get this strapped up and I'm gonna turn this other app on. All right, y'all, so I have done a total of two orders, one go share, one uh, delivered. I'm sitting at 167, um, and I've only been out here almost three hours, so about two, a little over two and a half hours. So um, I do plan on, uh, well, I was planning on staying out here longer, but uh, my wife wants me to bring some tamales home from delicious tamales which is a place we always wanted to try because i told her I'm, I'm close by so uh i've never had that place i i love tamales so uh this is a great time to go shouldn't be crowded that place is always crowded um so i'm gonna swing by grab that take it home if a, a really good order comes out i will leave my house again but as of right now i'm headed i'm gonna pick up some food and head home because my uh my wife is taking over. She is going to be working uh, starting at four o'clock and she's going to make some good money today. So we're just basically, we're doing like a tag team. I'm tagging out and she tagging in at four. So uh, that's that's another thing I love about my freedom, man. It's just, you really have control of what you want to do. So uh, I'm good, 167 uh, and she'll make the rest. Whatever she makes, it's, it's going to be well over a hundred dollars. So uh, we're good for today. Um, and then also, you know, my last video, that thing was like 43 minutes long or something like that. And I really, I'm not trying to make <laughs> really long videos. Um, they just kind of come out that way, just based on the, the footage I take. And, uh, you know, I edit my videos, so I cut a lot of stuff out and they're still like 40 minutes long. So I think that's just too long. I'm trying to get my videos down to maybe like 20 minutes or less. Um, so, if you like the longer videos, I'm sorry. I might do a long one every now and then, but uh, for the most part, I just want to kind of get right to the point. Just kind of show you the pickup, the drop off, um, and then and, and then a little less talking. I know I talk a lot sometimes, so. Um, but I am working on my other. I did a video on my van. Everything about my van. Uh, I'm I'm doing a video about my business. Everything about my business. What I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to accomplish. Um, and explain my situation so everybody understands what I'm doing with these gig apps. And uh, so that, uh, hopefully I can get that out this weekend. Um, so other than that, man, I'm just kind of waiting. I did turn my new app on. Uh, I like the features of it. Everything looks pretty simple. So uh, once I get an order on there, if I get one, uh, then I'll reveal it. All right, my fault. Uh, I said delicious tamales. Uh, it's actually, uh, what is the name of this place? My wife corrected me. Delias, okay. Um, yeah, this place, uh, I know when I uh, 
was delivering for uh, when I was delivering for um, Grubhub and stuff. I had to pick up from here a couple times. Hold on, let me park. Yeah, this place uh, is very popular, and supposedly they got some really good tamales. So I'm about to check it out. All right, man. Just picked up some tamales. Got me, uh, how many did I get? I think like 16 or something like that. I got a lot. So I got a uh, spicy pork. Then I got beef. And I got uh, chicken and cheese for the kids. So hopefully this place good. So I got hot food, man. I'm about to go home. Uh, it's still early. It's only 11.30 right now. So uh, if I get a hot call, I'll head out again, but uh, like I said, me and my wife tag team teaming today. So uh, I did the first half. She about to knock out the second half, and then um, yeah, that might be it, man. We'll see. All right, man. Uh, I'm almost home, uh, so I'm about to eat. I consider this like my lunch. I'm taking my lunch. Uh, like I said, I will go out again if uh, something that's worth going out for. Uh, and I'm talking about it. Got to be like fifty dollars or more. So other than that. I'm, uh, I'm good. Uh, 167 in two and a half hours. That's a pretty good rate. I think it's like 80 something dollars an hour. So um, I'm happy with it. Like I said, my wife's going to take over tonight. It's hot. I forgot to tell y'all on Monday, that day, that last video I posted, it was 109 <laughs> that day. I was, man, I, I, I run my AC like kind of intermittently. I don't like to run it too much because, you know, I'm trying to save gas, but. Even with the AC on, I was still hot. Like you gotta put your face in the vent to like stay cool. Like if I if I just relax and drive, like I can barely feel it. So I know y'all. Some of y'all told me put that wall, that partition wall back there, but um, that's like two thousand dollars. I'm not about to spend that right now. So, but anyways, uh, uh, a ghost share order came out from the um, the tire tire place. Y'all know my experience last video. I ain't doing those. It was only twenty-one dollars too. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm scared of those now, man. So, anyways, uh, I'm about to call it, man. Uh, like I said, uh, I will come back on if I get something good. But other than that, uh, I'll be back at it again tomorrow, and I will have that new app turned on early in the morning. I have no idea if it's busy out here or or what. It's new to me. I never heard of it till one of my buddies told me about it out here. So. Anyways, uh, catch y'all on the next one. One hour later. All right, y'all. Thought I was done. I got home. Uh, told them tamales up. Them tamales is bomb. Those, those are fire right there. Definitely will be going back there. Uh, so I said I ain't leaving the house unless it's worth it. So it's two orders that came out. One was a go share for fifty eight dollars, um, and nobody took it yet. It was kind of weird. It's been uh, available for like 30, 30 minutes. Um, and then um, that was at Sherwin Williams. And then um, my new app that I just downloaded just became available to me today. They sent me my first order. So I'm going to Lowe's. And uh, this one is paying, uh, I think it said $40. So I had just finished setting up my bank account and everything. So good to go. I turned the app on, said I'm available. And within about an hour, I just got my first order. So I'm going to uh, Lowe's. Uh, it is uh, 140. So, um, you know, I had got home about 12 o'clock. So it's only been about an hour and a half. And um, I chose this. Obviously, the go share order was higher paying, but I just want to do this one. I want to do this one. Once I complete it, I'll tell you what I think. And I'll tell you what it is. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. I can't wait to get there. Uh, probably gonna hear a little traffic coming home. All right, man. Uh, I was racing up that freeway. I'm gonna tell y'all why in just a little bit. But uh, I made it here. I'm at Lowe's. Uh, this is my first time picking up for this company. So let's see how it goes. Let's see. Oh, I should have went in the other aisle. Let me go to this other aisle. All right, man, I'm about to park in the, uh, actually, you know what? Let me go around, 
somebody double parked over here. Let me just go around real quick. All right, man. So I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, I don't know if this item is gonna fit. Um, I don't. They don't tell you what it is. It just gives you a description. Uh, said it's a large item. They give you the weight. It says it says extra large item. And it gives you the weight. It says 50 to 150 pounds. So they said it's a canopy. So I don't know, man. If it don't fit, I'm going to have to cancel. But um, that's going to suck. So that's it. It got one strike already. <laughs> no dimensions, nothing like that. All right, man. I ain't going to lie. I'm a little nervous. I have no idea how big this thing is. The dude that's about to help me load it. He was, I told him I had a van. He, he, he didn't look confident. <laughs> So we'll see what uh, what we're dealing with. But worst case scenario, I just got to cancel it and lesson learn, man. Um, I'm thinking on this app, I might have to call and find out what is the item and tell them, hey, I'm in a van. Uh, will it fit? So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, man. Yeah, that definitely fit. Oh, that's what it is. A canopy. Okay. It's just heavy as well. Oh, okay. How much do you think it weighs, roughly? Because I get paid by the weight, too, shoot. Yeah. It's like more than 500 pounds? Or? 572. Yeah, we, we couldn't lift it. It's what? 572. Right oh, 572? Let me get a picture of that. All right, it's cool. So I'm going to let them know. All right, man. We got this in here. Unfortunately, this thing is stapled to the pallet. So uh, I had to take the pallet with me. Um, and uh, that's going to stay at the customer's house. Wherever I'm dropping this off at, everything stays. He taking the pallet, the box, everything. So it fit perfect. Um, so I just uh, took a picture of it and uh, now it's saying I can go to the drop off. So this will be fun, this drop off. All right, man, that thing is 528 pounds. So I never dealt with this app before. So I'm gonna see if I'm getting paid right. This The pay, it said $40 is the pay. So. Uh, I agree based on the mileage because the drop off is only three miles. So I'm three miles from the drop off and it only took me uh, probably about almost 15 minutes to get here from my house. Um, so as far as the drive time, cool, but unloading this thing, I don't know, man. I don't know where I'm going. If it ain't no forklift there and I ain't got nobody to help me, I don't know how this thing gonna get unloaded because this is like a four man, four man unload. But anyways, yep, uh, about uh, two and a half miles out. All right, man, I've been to down this street before on, a, I think, a dispatch order. So I have no idea where I'm going. All right, man. Let's see. I hope, man, this would be nice if this place got a forklift. I think I'm going right here. Yeah, this is the address right here. So, never been here before. Uh, yeah, I have no idea where the heck I'm going. I do see some uh, forklifts though. So yeah, let me go up in here. Yeah, they got forklifts, so woo woo! That saved me right there. I'm still gonna tell them I had to load it though. Receiving parts right here. All right, man, I just talked to one of the guys that work here. Uh, he said they ordered this for a barbecue that they about to have. So they gonna set this little canopy up. Um, they said they use his credit card, so he, 
Yeah, yeah he gonna get a uh, forklift for me to unload this, so. Cool. Is it heavy? It's like 500 something pounds. Oh shit, that ain't. And it, it's, it's, it's. Okay. Nah, uh, I okay. mean, it goes all the way back there. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be heavy, you know what I mean? The longer they keep it, that fork has got long ass forks on it. Uh, I got some straps. If I can run, go and run this strap through here, you can just kind of pull it off, maybe. You could do that too. That work? I also have those lifting refrigerator lifting straps there. He's got a strap, he's gonna pull it out. Okay. Here. Just come straight. Because I can hook this. You know what? Let me see. Side door. I don't know. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. You're good. That's about as far as my fat ass hand can reach. I got what I got. Okay, coach. So come straight ahead. Slide it out. Yeah. man i'm done with that order uh it was not hard i am not tripping um as you saw i had help loading it and i had a forklift unload so um not looking for any extra money um uh, should be good with whatever they give me i believe it said 40 dollars, but on this app it doesn't show you your pay yet so i don't know if they uh, have to verify everything first or I, I don't know how it works so anyways i'm gonna tell y'all what it is in one second but as you saw that pallet was really long and uh these guys we figured it out man i just i i ran uh one of my straps through the pallet hooked it up to the forklift he dragged it out um just enough so that it balanced on my van and the forklift and then had another one grab it from the side uh because they wasn't able to they don't have the uh long um the long uh forklift and then plus you couldn't get under it from the side so uh i mean the way it was facing they weren't able to get under it so we had to pull it out and then they can get under it so anyways, we figured it out all good. Um, so uh, this 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 is gonna be an extra $40 for now, unless it might be more. I don't know how this stuff works. I don't know, I know they pay you uh, twice a week. 
it's two payments i want to say uh mondays and fridays or something like that so anyways um all done i my total is going to be 207 uh, it's going to be a net profit um a little bit above half a tank so um i didn't have to uh, i did not use a lot of gas at all stay local that's what i like and um yeah that's pretty much it so i'm about to head home i'm done for the day i'm not taking any orders um there was a lot of ghost share orders coming out uh so it definitely today it got busy but it got busy late later on in the day um so and even a dolly order i was going to take a dolly order but it was a refrigerator so um i'm good with my earnings this app uh i learned about it last saturday and uh i signed up for it and i just got approved today i turned the app on i'm active on it and so far i'm gonna say i, I like the layout of it i like the way uh, they do the orders their customer support is pretty fast you could text them directly just just text them kind of like freight um and then uh you can also call them which i like you can call them and somebody answers the phone so i actually did call them because on this app <laughs> it's kind of funny i accepted it from home and it, this, it said urgent it didn't give a time though it didn't say a pickup time or nothing like that it just said urgent so i, I threw my uh you know i threw my uh my gear my clothes my shoes on everything and i'm taking i'm like 15 minutes away from lowe's so i'm on the highway it's a little bit of traffic and i kept getting alerts and it said the first alert alert was like it looks like you're not gonna make it on time and then it, kept, it did it again like five minutes later it looks like you're not gonna make it on time make sure you make it on time and all that and i'm like what is going on like i'm y'all don't see me on the map i'm going there and, and there's no time there's no pickup time so uh i just called because i'm like this is my first order i don't want to you know get on their bad side so i called and the guy's like oh he's like don't worry about that he's like that's automated you're gonna get it they just we just want to make sure you you know you get to your pickup so he's like ignore those you're good don't worry about it i'm like cool so um so far the layout is cool um i don't i can't you know i can't really review it yet because i haven't done enough but so far so good i don't have any complaints yet so um the app i know y'all been waiting y'all probably like will you hurry up and tell us i don't have to tell y'all though because some of y'all don't want me to tell people y'all some of y'all be like man I don't, why are you telling everybody everything you're gonna oversaturate the market and all that it don't work like that y'all the, these these companies control the market they control how many people they hire that's why i'm on a waiting list for bungee and roadie because they got enough drivers so doesn't matter about telling people about apps man i want to help people out i did not know this app was in my market and i'm going to share it so some of y'all probably already know what it is or heard of it. It is called drum roll. I got y'all just sitting on the edge of your seat, huh? <laughs> uh, it's Simpax. So Simpax, um, like I said, I never heard of it before. I didn't know that it was in my market. So again, I learned this by networking with other drivers. Another driver told me about it. So I would have never known about it if I didn't network and talk to other drivers. So uh, I'm glad to add this to my tool belt. So I have a lot of apps and the more apps you have, the more chance of getting consistent work. That's, that's really all it's about. I don't care what apps gives me $200. I just wanna make 200 a day. So however I get it, if I get one from GoShare, one from Freight, you know, one from Delivered, one from Dispatch, whatever, I don't care. I just wanna get 200. I don't care how I get it. I don't care if, if I do, one big order and a couple small orders. I don't care if I do three big orders and that's it. I just need 200 a day and I'm happy. So anyway, Simpax, um, uh, de definitely uh, you, you can download, you can sign up directly through the app. Um, and then uh, you uh, check to see if they're in your market. I know they just came to Texas. Uh, I was just reading a little bit about it uh, when I was uh, signing up for it. And I, I learned that they recently just came to Texas. So uh, I don't know where they originated, all that stuff, but um, check to see if they're in your market. So far, so good. So that may change, but so far, I like it. So I will catch y'all on the next one.
Bye. Bye.